It's hard Hi Stephen! How did you get on? This is the story of my 2022 Brighton 10K. It's a really gorgeous sunny day. And, uh, oh yes, the Brighton 10K is actually in Hove, actually. After a two year hiatus, the Brighton 10K was back on. And having not gone hard at a 10K race since 2019, I thought I would give this one a go. I had spent most of November lying down and eating cake, so running a 40 minute 10K was going to be a challenge. But who doesn't enjoy a fruitless endeavour every so often? Ben's here, we've got Ben. Uh, Ben's not running, but Carla is. I was also joined by a number of my club mates and other familiar faces from the local running scene. 10Ks are like the worst race in the world. They are horrible. But we're going to give it a go today at the Brighton 10K and see what happens. Some 1,200 runners lined up on the promenade next to Hove Lawns. We are off. Got to be able to press my watch at the same time as holding the camera. Is that going to work? Here we go. We're off. Oh, I've taken a screenshot. It was good to have Victoria filming whilst I was running. So I took a screenshot of my watch rather than starting the watch. So that is not a good start. But let's get going and see how we manage on the Brighton 10K. The race initially heads east along Hove Prom for a kilometre. Go on, Dan! Before turning and heading into Brighton on the road. Go on, Stephen! In the early kilometres, I was concentrating so much on my pace that I completely forgot to get the camera out. By the time I remembered, we were four kilometres into the race and about halfway between Brighton's old West Pier and the Palace Pier. 4K in, 15. 53 but I know I'm not going to make 40 I'm already too tired so he's the lead runner coming through now at the sharp end of the race at this point was Gus Withers with a guy called Scott Cousins in second 5k in 1957 so just under 20 minutes for 5k the turnaround was halfway along Madeira Drive and up to that point I just about managed to maintain sub 40 goal pace 6k the wind is really strong against us now and I am definitely slowing down. By now the leaders were into the last two kilometres and Gus Withers was still in first place but he was being chased down by Will Bryan from Southampton AC. Seven kilometres that was 4.24 that kilometre. 28 minutes 32 seconds. Make some noise for him ladies and gentlemen. Brighton 10k 22 winner. Will Bryan, 30 31. Gus Withers takes second place for Essex. 33 44. Harry Claw from Sussex. Gonna run 34 01. Really, really fast time. 418 for that kilometre. When you pass the Peace Statue, you know you're going from Brighton into Hove. So there's the Peace Statue. And now we're in Hove, actually. After a difficult two kilometres, I'd had a word with myself and I pushed on to the finish. 37.01 for nine kilometres. 1k to go. I've run sub 40 two or three times before, but I'm not getting any younger and the racing isn't getting any easier. There were some great performances at Brighton 10k with Dan cruising to 34 minutes and plenty of my clubmates going sub 40. It wasn't to be for me this time and I think if I'm going to break any of my PBs in the future, I will have to train specifically for those events. Long gone are the days of rocking up to any old distance and smashing out of time. Sure, I could simply turn up to races, take it easy and enjoy myself, but I do still feel I can improve my times. Push it, it's hard. Steven, how did you get on? 40-49. Naomi Mitchell from Reading AC won it for the ladies and Harriet Bloor was second with Helen Hall in third. Oh, right, there it is. 40 minutes work and you get that. I can't argue with that, can you? I am happy with that, I've got to say, because I'm not 40 minute fit. I'm not sub 40 fit. So to get 40 minutes something... I'm very happy and the wind on the way back was very, very strong. If you are enjoying the video, finding it interesting or entertaining, then please do hit the thumbs up button. And you know, subscribing to the channel is free and it really helps us out. Lorna, how do you do? Uh, thanks, boys. Oh, I did win. <laughs> yeah, not a PB today. No. Ever got a PB? 
43 something. Under 43. Under 43 for, for Everett. Ben and I then waited for Carla to cross the line. So we reckon Carla's going to come in in about 50 minutes. She was she was trying to stick with the 50 minute pacer. Okay. And then see, you know, how she does. Yeah, yeah. That's Carla finishing in 47. What's her PB at the moment? It's her, her road one is like just over 50. Okay, so she's knocked about three or four minutes off her road PB. Ben and Carla run the Time on Feet YouTube channel. You came in on the clock in about 47.30, 47.40. It depends how long it took you to cross the line. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really dislike 10Ks. I just can't do them at all. That was, that was, uh, it was hard up until 5K, but I kept, kept my pace. But then after 5K into the wind and just losing pace, lack of fitness, um, yeah, it was hard work. My official time was 40.55 because I didn't start my watch until about 20 metres into the race. What's your best 10k time? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's it from the Brighton 10k. We've had an absolutely lovely time. Can't argue with 40 minutes, 49 seconds, given my fitness level. Very happy. And it's been a beautiful day in Brighton as well. If you, uh, if you want to come to Brighton, there's, uh, there's plenty of races you can do in Brighton. Uh, although the Brighton Marathon might not be one of them these days. Uh, so uh, yeah, come down to Brighton and have a, have a run down here. It's absolutely gorgeous by the seafront. Take care. Uh, if you want to watch uh, the last hard 10K race I did, uh, then that is linked just there. Um, otherwise, we'll see you for the next adventure uh, and we'll see you on the start line next time. Bye-bye.